Hey everybody, welcome back to another recap of 90 Day Fiance The Other Way here with Jaden XD on YouTube. Yes. Uh, we are we are getting to the nitty gritty. It really seems like we're getting close to the end. Um, hopefully closer to the end of some of these people's actual relationships because <laughs> they don't need to be together. Everybody. Yeah. Actually... Not Only a, one couple needs to be yeah. together, but even then, no, can they could be. No, they should be together. They should be together. They also, one of them needs to get a grip, though. <laughs> like, and we'll talk about it yes, because we I will. was very disappointed yes, in will. Isabel. But it, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where do you want to start? Um, let me see. Let's start with uh Oh, they weren't on this week. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, I Let's, know. AI and... Um, yo, I was like, you know what? We needed a respite. Um, we did. Let's we go did. with uh, Chris and Jamie because they were brief yet powerful. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> this gagged me. And I was like, you see, the gays knew. The gays called it. They knew it. They said, I know this because gays specialize in ghosting. Not only that, but like, I mean, it was, I mean, <laughs> Lesbian like, it. Express. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely uh, got on that U-Haul trek mm -hmm. and, and, and took the bullet straight to wherever the, to hell, um, mm -hmm. you know, and I wanted to, you know, I root for the queer couples more than anybody, mm -hmm. but, um, you Here's know, you just, just can't, you just can't put lipstick on a pig. <laughs> no, no, you can't. So, Chris, you know, HLA, right? Mm. So, Chris is back in... Uh, you have to in, stop calling them that. <laughs> after this episode, I will. No. Because... <laughs> no. Because there's no action happening. Well, until they go back. Because I remember in the preview, they're supposed to get into it like a physical altercation. What? Yeah. Oh, no. Um... From what I remember in the the trailer, of this I season. call him Hocus Pocus because <laughs> she does look like Sarah Michelle. Um, not Sarah there, Michelle Gellar. Not Sarah only Parker. is Chris giving, I mean Sanderson sisters tease, yeah. but yeah. also poof, like she be gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, she back in Alabama because she had to pick up her narco meds, and Mama was broke. Um, anytime somebody says, there's the issue with my bank, mm, yep. we know. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've heard that Because, girl, before. it usually ain't nothing but a text message or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a phone call to your reputable... You're just like, oh, girl, bank. I'm in Portugal. And they're like, oh, God. Okay, yeah. Okay. Or, I'm like, no, that was me. I was wilding on the Amazon. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, they sit down for a Skype call. Mm-hmm. Um, Jamie, um, you know, gets on camera and we learn that she got COVID again. Yeah. And the first time I almost took her out, she was a part of that, that batch that, you know. The first rollout that, yeah. you know, took out most of the world, like yeah. Thanos. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, you know, she's not dealing, she's not doing, she's doing a lot better because I'm sure she's had the vaccination mm -hmm. and things of that nature. But um, we learned that Chris has not just been there for just, you know, they'd be like, oh, yesterday, you know, I left. Child. It's been a season. It's been three months. Don't like, like something happened to like, the moon and shit in three not months. A like, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a trimester. <laughs> we done left one retrograde, gone into another one, hit a couple of eclipses and full moons in between. Yeah, <laughs> like it's been hellas, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, Chris was like, so check it. I had to work because Jamie, I thought she was working. And then I guess she left her job and just didn't go back to work. I was confused about that part. What I heard was... Okay. I told Jamie... Chris. I told Jamie... Her her boss was threatening to... to I guess... Remember... Okay. This is, okay. I think I just put it together. Remember when 
um, she took a leave of absence from her job for 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 thirty days so that they could like kick it hardcore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, so I think her boss called her during that time and was like, "Girl, get your ass back to work, or you're not gonna have a job." At that point, Chris told Jamie, "Well, go ahead and quit that job. I got you." And then mm. she was banking on that fifty k. But see, Ghost Daddy blocked that and said, mm -mm, "You're not. No. I'm not allowing you to fuck around on this, yeah. especially when you have a one hundred thousand dollar surgery that you need." But you are trying to use my old motorcycle that I gave you as a sentimental value. And I'm gone, bitch. I'm gone. I, like, and you going to use this 50K yeah. on this bitch and not your neck? <laughs> like, that is made out of sticks. <laughs> Ghost Daddy blocked those blessings. So, yeah, then, as you should have. Yeah, absolutely. Let me tell you something. Let me fuck around and die. And Noah. <laughs> you know what? You know what I thought, though? I wonder if this still, well, no, because it's a legal battle, right? Because I yeah. thought they were going to do, like, maybe it was staged or something. Like, you know what I mean? What, the, the motorcycle like her family, situation? Like, her family didn't like this shit because they got wind that she was about to sell it mm. and for it to fund um, this lesbian lifestyle. Perhaps so they time. so they pulled a, um, <laughs> We're going to steal the bike. <laughs> yeah. We're going to cause drama. <laughs> Insurance scam, you know? Child, I had a cousin do that with a Honda. I, anyway, so. Not a Honda. <laughs> well, I was like, girl, not the Accord, but. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's it's old. never worth it. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, girl. <laughs> you gonna drive that it's somewhere never. and put it on some center blocks. And yeah, then, I, I just. <laughs> woo, the criminals. <laughs> oh, so. What? So, yes, the ghost daddy blocked the blessings. And she was not able, so she gotta go back and work now. And not just any type of. Now I was confused <laughs> as to what she did for a no, living. That bitch is a task rabbit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "I'll unclog your drain. Yeah. I will hang your ceiling fans." She's like, "I'll go get mm -hmm. your groceries. You need your kids I picked up. I install television. I mount TV. Like, what? I wash your rugs and <laughs> she doing what chance." Fuck around, Chance need to go get with Chris. Yeah. <laughs> because that bitch yes. said, job, say less. And she did all right. of it with a broke ass neck. I just... Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jamie is over here chilling <laughs> in their $100 <laughs> over budget apartment. In their $900 apartment. And we love Jamie, right. but Jamie, girl... Jamie, you tried that. Girl. Because she girl. was like, what do you mean? I have, I've been looking for girl, work. I've been looking Bill for energy. work. Girl, big energy. Take the ice machine away from her. <laughs> and you know, she's been waiting for, and you know, deservedly so. She was waiting for her, you know, um, queen to come and, and rescue her <laughs> from, you know, Yeah, so poverty. they can open their food truck and... And it don't help that she got the ladies of leisure in her ear, the ones doing hair and makeup, talking about yeah. her. <laughs> Girl, she ain't yeah. shit and she's going to leave you. Yes, she is. Talk to your friends for real. She's going to yeah. leave you because you're lazy. Go get a job. <laughs> Nobody wants to fucking work anymore. What? Not a, like, I hate to be that bitch. I hate to be... Sh you shut up, boomer. No, nigga. Go get a goddamn job. You all are fucking shiftless. You're 24 years old talking about it's not giving. Bitch, it's not supposed to. It's not supposed to give. Bitch, pay the goddamn rent. You know what else does it give? Homelessness. No, it doesn't. You know what it else doesn't. don't give, bitch? Hunger. You can't have your motherfucking bottomless mimosa ass brunches, hookah, and lamb chops if you don't keep your goddamn motherfucking job. I'm sick mm -hmm. of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it Nigga I've been working since I was 11 years Goddamn old nigga I'm working today Like before I catch a flight And y'all niggas it's not giving Like bitch I hate you <laughs> Okay 
Yeah. Not, but I don't hate Jamie. I just want Jamie to go get a goddamn job. Like, yeah. I don't understand I why niggas be up here crying about how things ain't working out and they don't do shit for themselves. And this is no. not a pull yourself up by your bootstraps type of shit. I know the fucked up country that we live in, but bitch, you think I've never set my ass in a motherfucking Postmates orientation? Because I just needed to hurry up and get to the dollars real quick so I could mm -hmm. bust my ass and pay my bills? Like, girl, I'm sick of y'all. Y'all don't know nothing. <laughs> right. Like, I, I get it. So they are arguing over money and apparently, you know, Chris doesn't really talk to them and she's like, why don't you call me? And Chris was like, well, I'm at work all the damn time giving all my money <laughs> to I you. I can't talk to you while I power wash. Yeah, I am pressure washing this house. And you want me to be like, hey, no. But also, girl, you can send a text. And you can be like, hey, five minutes. I am working for you, but I am going to say hey for five minutes. That's all you do got to do now. Now, it's up to her. Uh, Jamie, you know... If you do all this stuff and Jamie's still like, it's not enough, then, you know, you can, you know, kick it to the curb because she's not necessarily that grateful. But, um... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it. Okay, go We ahead. ain't got, we ain't got, I can. <laughs> okay. You know, good. sometimes you get to speak to the audience and I'll be mm -hmm. like, no my space. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a black space woman. for you. Thank you. I'm a black woman. Mm -hmm. But y'all know some Latin roots in there as well. Mm-hmm. So my Mexican side is going to talk to my Latina sisters. Sometimes y'all be wallin'. <laughs> Sometimes y'all be real, um, what's the word? Hold on. Uh, uh, unreasonable. About some like regular ass shit. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, you don't have your paperwork? Okay, you got to go get it? Cool. I mean, yeah, you should have had it, but I mean, I'll see you soon when you get back. Oh, we're living up in this apartment and I don't have no job and you taking care of me and your neck is broke. Of course, you might end up having to work a little longer when you get Like my Latina sisters, hermanas, primas, like chill. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, but that could even like just apply to everybody like you need people need to manage their own expectations yeah and yeah. and get a grip yeah like because if the shoe was on the other foot you would feel the exact same way girl like i and 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 while chris is wrong for not like making mm -hmm. any effort with communication she is a little resentful but also, yeah. but also, you told that lady to quit her job. And you told that lady that you got her. I'm just saying. Do, should she get up and like look around and say, damn, you know what? My contribution to the household might help out with some of this. Yes, absolutely. But you also told her this. So let's, mm -hmm. let us not forget that. Right. Two things can be true at the same time. Just saying. And that was them. Oh, wait, no. Because she got, she got, she got, Chris got mad. And in true dramatic fashion, she walked off and went into the kitchen and made herself a sandwich. While production and, had to manage. Yeah, call. Lindsay <laughs> had to get on Zoom <laughs> while Jamie crying. Are right. you okay? Production's like, uh, I don't think she's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she up here making like white, like toast. She making uh tuna sandwiches. Mm hmm. But that was them. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Who's near? Um, let's go with let's go with Tanya McQuad and Osama. Oh. <laughs> Oh, um, okay, sure. So, um, it, they, it's the time has passed from them to staying downtown in the lap of luxury, and they're going to his um, parents' house um, elsewhere in Morocco. Yeah. For whatever reason, she's shouting like Negro <laughs> praises at him. 
Like, yeah, Osama, you better pack, you better walk that fucking back for like shit like, like that. And I'm it was so like, what are you to talking see her about? Social circle back in Georgia because there's a couple things. Like, at one point, she was like, you're supposed to have my back. And I was like, yo, who do you be hanging out with? <laughs> like, what do you be watching? Maybe. Are you watching Housewives? <laughs> <laughs> what do you she hang out with her former man that's what she be doing <laughs> Osama that's it's it. not giving uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but he's trying to reassure her on the on the way to meet the parents that um you know and when I tell you he was laid honey, on thick the, the like he needed a pulled. shovel <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you didn't hear those words last week? I think of you. Are you the messiahs? Um, yeah. So he is reassuring her that they don't care about her outward appearance and they only care about her heart and mind. Which, you know, I didn't believe no. one bit um, when he kept saying that. Just because he, um, you know, he, he just... He has a passing acquaintance with, like, not necessarily the truth, but, like, he'd be flipping the script so, like, abruptly. Like, what show are you on? Or who are you Osama, dating? Osama you know what I mean? is an ancient-ass nigga. Let's be very clear here. <laughs> yeah, like, it's so... He don't well, especially the preview for next week. I'm like, what? He don't yeah, he is above... Nobody, again, like Kim said, nobody wants to fucking work. Child, anymore. Osama will come over. He is the equivalent of coming over here. He would live in somebody's Williamsburg loft. And you come home from work and this nigga be smoking cigarettes and making groceries. And you're like, what the fuck mm -hmm. are you doing? Smoking cigarettes with a head yeah, on. Exactly, but no <laughs> shirt. <laughs> yeah. No shirt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. a scarf. Yeah. And a like, necklace. And a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Tapping into the creative side and shit. That's Osama. Osama ain't shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he's not. So, you know, like you said, he assures her that, you know, his parents are cool. Yeah. So, however, he does tell her, he asks, like, do they know that I'm permanently moving here? He was like, screw it, screw it. No, no, I'm not telling them no. that. You You're tell them. Tell them. And she's like, again, here we are with this surprise shit again. And Debbie ain't dumb. She 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 loopy, but she not dumb. Yeah. She says she yeah, said yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, something yeah. in the milk ain't clean. I can't quite call it, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. this nigga shifty. So yeah. So they pull up in the oobs and um you know, she meets the family and the family welcomes her. It's awkward because of a language barrier, and they're just kind of just staring at her, like smiling, like I don't know what's going on with him. Oh uh, well, the dad and the the dad and the sister speak English. The mother doesn't. Yes, the mother yeah. doesn't. Um, and I know he said his mother was very shy. Now I don't think she's that I don't shy. Either. I think she's just disgusted with all I of this. And she's just shutting the fuck up. I think up because, because of culture, she keeps her mouth shut. But I think up inside mm -hmm. that head. She is in there like, what in the motherfuck? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I had my way. Because the sister, if you caught it, if you caught her in the... Oh, the the sister it. was back there giggling. <laughs> okay? <laughs> she, was like, <laughs> she was quite amused okay. by the whole thing. She was like, oh, this is some shit. Okay. Yeah, she's like, oh, oh so but, they, <laughs> but they not rude. And Debbie yeah. is not shy. So Debbie gets straight no. to the shit when she said, Daddy sits down with these laser sharp T pores. I was like, you could cut a nigga with his pores. Um, Listen, drink champs. Me, I, Not drink champs. What drink masters? Color That's the shit impressed. with Tony Bell. Yeah. I was like, yes, T. His sister's laughing at, at I need Tony that T set McQuad. also. I'm going to Morocco. Get me a T set, nigga. <laughs> um, <laughs> his sister laughing yeah. at, at, at Tanya McQuad. She over. She is giggling. She is cackling at this lady. And then Debbie gets straight to the shit. So what y'all think about this age difference? Because, you know, it's all, it's been on my heart. Yeah. And It's a little weird even just, for me. But what's just to y'all What y'all think? Mind you, don't forget that Debbie's 67. We find out Daddy is 68. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
she felt a little relieved. Yeah. She's like, ooh, he's a little older than me. It's like, girl, he was, days. what, nine months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's but by days, I'm sure. He tells you know. her, we, you know, uh, initially, yeah, we had a, a smidge of concern, but honestly, it's more about your uh, your heart and you all's connection than than anything else and like now that we've witnessed you all together on the phone and like we know that he loves you and we cool yeah um on on the out like when they were talking to the camera his parents like you said they were like at first it was weird but you know it's we're gonna if they like it they love it (laughs) which in (laughs) fact means you hate it Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that was yeah. them. Let's talk about Gabe and Isabel. <sighs> My queen. <laughs> My irrational queen. <laughs> yeah, because you know we love us some Isabel. We love us some Jamie. Yeah. yeah, but again, those two this episode were... Muy wild. caliente. Yeah. <laughs> now... <laughs> I did side eye Gabe just a tinge, but Same. then I understood because also. there have been moments when I have been with my clients and they don't have all their paperwork, and at and at times I'll be like, well, why why don't you have it? And then like, well, they take it, and because you don't think you need certain things which or is, whatever later, which on, is factual because um, they do it with your passport shit too if you're not careful. If you want to do a a, a a what you call it, uh, like a get a passport card. They mm-hmm. want you to send your passport in. Not a copy of it. Not like a... They want you to send the thing in. And and I was like, no. I won't be doing that. I won't be doing no. that at all. Like It's like somebody tell... Okay, hold on, pause, side. Mm-hmm. You know, I was packing and getting myself together. And I was trying mm-hmm. to find something to watch. But I was like, I need something where I don't really have to be that invested but it, it keeps my energy enough. I mean, it keeps my attention enough. Mm-hmm. Somehow, I ended up watching life t- like six Lifetime movies. So the first one, <laughs> the first one okay. was with um, oh shit, um, uh, uh. Damn. There's anyway. only five actresses that they have. No, it it's black either one. Shannon Doherty, it was a black one. Not Robert the Kiki Hershey. Palmer, not the Kiki Palmer, uh, but the other one about this little girl whose mother was it stole Ra- her. Either Raven Goodwin, who's the no, other black her. people that they hire? Damn. Um, Carrie Hilson should be on there. It'll come back. They only five black women they hire. But I watched time. this movie, uh, you know, about you know stealing babies or whatever. Then. Mm get into another kidnapping movie i watched the kiki palmer and the ingenue ellis one and mm. then it flipped to this 14 year old mexican girl who who got uh and mind you all these are based off of true stories it's 14 year old mexican girl and ben savage and that nigga kidnapped her and kept her for almost a year like 284 days was about to kill her let her out of the car and then just poof let her rock let her walk away. She went home. And then uh, a white lady where this photographer, other white lady, was like, oh, let me take pictures of you and your baby. They ran into each other. on the Stole the baby. Broke into the house. Stole the baby. Drugged the mother. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, those, they, are, they were all so crazy that even Tristan and Noah, they'd be in the background. And then they'd be like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yes. get sucked in. You, I did, you and, and in. I did, and there was a reason I was telling you that, but I can't remember. Oh. It doesn't matter anyway. Oh, Sherry Shepard. No, that was the Kiki Palmer one. Never mind. Was it Vivica Fox? Because no. she's the other <laughs> um, diversity hire. Don't she be Lifetime. on Hallmark? Hold on, let me look on. No, she be on. She be on um, Lifetime. And every title that is in her movies has wrong in it. So it'd be like, the wrong cheerleader, <laughs> the wrong baby, the wrong bitch. Like, it's just, everything has wrong in it. Where is it's so interesting. Where is that I watched? Cradle Did Fall. That was one of them. 
See, the problem is that because they kept rolling into the next one, it doesn't show it on mm -hmm. my history. Ew. Anyway. Well, yes, I watched a lot of Lifetime True Crime yesterday. But there was a reason well, I told fun. you that, and I don't remember why. Oh, well, well, maybe we'll go through this and it'll come up. Maybe. Anyway. All right. So they're going ahead to... Um, a lawyer's office so that they can start the paperwork so that they can um, get married mm -hmm. because Gabe's visa is on its way to expiring. Like, yeah. we know. <clears throat> um, and so, you know, they meet with the lady and, you know, she's accommodating. She's able to translate both in Spanish and in English. And so, you know, they sit down and she's like, well, give me what you got. And mind you, in the beginning, when they were in the car, Isabel was like, you have all your paperwork, you have all your paperwork. And he's like, yeah, 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 I have everything, cool. So, get to it. She's like, give me what you got. Gay prefaces, um, Laura was like, hey, listen, I'm trans. Shit is in the past. I'm different now. Mm -hmm. because, and so my passport and my ID does not necessarily match my birth certificate. Mm -hmm. Because the genders are different. Mm -hmm. Um, and Mama was like, Ooh. in America, um, that shit may work, but here that doesn't, unfortunately. And she goes on camera, off camera, and she says, you know, this is the first time we've ever had to really deal with this. And she was like, it's not like it's discriminatory, it's just unprecedented. Yeah, because it's, it's not about them being a trans couple, that's not the, or be, gay mm -hmm. being trans, should I say. It's about, because um, she was like, we've had same-sex marriages. She said it's about the fact that one documents is one thing and one says another, and he definitely needs both. So, um, now, I I did understand, because I did for a second. I was like, what the fuck? But I did, I was like, listen, he, he made up, he was in his early 20s. He was hype that he, you know, that his life was going in the way that he wanted it to he go. Wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And, you know, got caught up in, like, the experience as opposed to being responsible. And that can go across the board. How many of us have fucked that up credit, lost documents, <laughs> done all kinds of shit in our early 20s in the name of being dumb and loose? And be, I get it when I need it. <clears throat> and then when you need it, you ain't got it. But it, it happens mm -hmm. to the best of us. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Right. So... Nothing can happen until he goes back to America to have his birth certificate amended, which I didn't even know you can do. Me neither, but, but I'm glad. Um, that was, I've, I will say, I've learned a lot about the trans experience and more specifically the trans man experience because that's something that we don't see yes, often. Yes, yes, absolutely. And so I'm quite appreciative of the storyline. And, I'm, and, and so, I'm grateful to Gabe for being so open same. with us and, and sharing so much of his experience and, his, and being so vulnerable in that way because it has been a great learning tool. Um, and these are also things that he didn't have to share. Didn't so have to at all. you know, I'm just grateful that that this he advocacy work. Yeah, honestly. yeah, very much so. <laughs> He's like, I sh you should go look all this shit up yourself, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you on how it goes. Yeah, it's nice to have a guide through this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. right? So you know, Mama says you got to go back to America and get your shit straightened out because otherwise, this isn't gonna work. Yeah. And otherwise, your shit is your visa is gonna expire anyway, so you're gonna have to get all this taken care of. Yeah. So Gabe is like, "Well, I'm just gonna have to go next week and figure this shit out." And you know, and Isabel's like, "Well, how long is this gonna take?" And she was, and Gabe was like, "Well, I don't know. You know, America operates on vibes, so it could be like a month. It could be seven to ten business days. It could be three months. Who knows?" Um, so Isabel was very frustrated and, and disappointed because of the fact that, A, I just got to propose to and I want to plan my wedding and start my life with the person I love, but this one or two pieces of paper are just standing in the way of that, and that's so irritating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, <clears throat> listen, we I all get it. irrationally get frustrated at times, but, like, to get big mad... <laughs> 
is a little, it's just like, okay, we got to do what we got to do. That's what I, 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 I understand people getting afraid, but I don't understand like when something is beyond people get mad at things that are beyond their control yeah and also like things that can be rectified like i have to fly here and get this paperwork and it's a slight inconvenience but this is what needs to happen in order for us to make the next steps well i just don't <laughs> yeah i don't understand what the rush is i'm like the love isn't going to go well, away the rush because... Is because he can't he won't be able to stay in the country well, but i don't understand well, the I... big emotion well i understand the the legality parts right but okay he has to go and then come back like it's not like he's working up He's not, like, saying, fuck your kids. Right. He was like, I'm going to go get this signed by my permission slip signed, and I'll be right, I'll back, be right back to go on the trip. That's what I don't, that's where I'm like, I don't understand getting mad and doing all, like, I just don't, you know, I don't know. Right. And I think because Isabel is, um, I don't know if she's a type A, but she gives type A. Um, like mm -hmm. how she's very much, like, when... Like, for example, when the business thing happened and how True. mama was like, fuck a stamp. We got to get this money, right? Like, yeah. she is very... And, look at, it, and look at it as a positive. You got to fly back. You could bring your stamps back. That I don't know why I didn't even think about that either. But yeah. Like, like you could bring the shit that you need back and not worry about one to two months of getting it to Colombia. Get yourself together. Right. So they... <laughs> So they have this conversation in the park, and she's like very snippy, and he's like, "Listen, I didn't think I was gonna move to Colum meet you and move to Colombia. Like, why would I like like you said, you never need it until you need it." Mm -hmm. And he was like, "Again, this is another thing in America, you know. <laughs> like, this is a y'all thing, and I wouldn't have known that Did until I, need my birth certificate? I didn't need happened. my birth certificate to get married, though. Yeah. Now, what I will say." And the Discord agrees, is that now Gabe, just like all these people on the show, you know you should have researched all the things that you need. Also that. Before. Also, when you're moving out of the country, why don't you have all your shit anyway? That shit needs to be scanned on a drive and in, on your person because you never know when you'll need that stuff. Yeah. Like... Not even just for this type of thing. Say if you mistakenly get caught up in some illegal shit or whatever, and you got to get out the country. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many different scenarios to even get, like, funding or, like, to even get a job. Like, there's just so many things that you need this stuff for internationally. Even to, like, drive. Like, how you have to, have, how you have to apply for, like, an international driver's license. Right. But you need all this stuff. Mind you, this was a quick Google <laughs> that I did after this episode aired. I was like, like with Jen and Rishi, like, how do you not, like, there are so many, like, people are just, are just so in love, rose-colored glasses and that yada yada whoop de woo that they don't read the, not even just fine print, because some of this shit is just big and bold, Jen. When, but, <laughs> when Jen passed that thing to that, to that attorney, and he said, and he said look at her. It says right, right here. here. It's in the text. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga didn't even look for 30 seconds. It says right here that you need, it's, not, it's a one year visa. How you didn't see that? Yeah. <laughs> right. So. You know, he explains, and they and she's just over everything. She's just done talking she and said. just upset. So the next love like, week later, he goes back to Miami. Now, what we did learn was that she don't really talk to his family like that. And she said maybe a couple of hellos or whatever. And so her thought is, is he ashamed of me? Do they not like me? Uh, for all these insecure mm -hmm. things that he thought about. Her family. Yep. And now, I I don't want to say that they probably don't like her. They probably just are like, oh, Gabe, here you go. Fall in love again. Well, yeah, that's what his sister said at the very beginning. Um, mm -hmm. And we also find out he has not told his family about the proposal, the engagement, any of those things. So, like, he's living this whole family life over in Colombia, and his family don't know what's going on. And she's also concerned that once he gets there, they're going to convince him that he needs to stay and that he's doing too much. And so that's why 
that's where part of her big emotion is coming from as far as being so sad that he has to go back. Yeah. Yeah. And I I don't think that they're gonna stand in the way. I think they might have his sister might have a couple of things to say. But I don't think their love is going to... They're like the only couple that's going to last on here. So oh, yeah. I, Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hands I think down. they'll be fine. Hands but down. that was them. Yep. Um, who do you want to end with? Because mm. these two were juicy. <laughs> I know. Let's end with uh, Rishi and Jen. Walter Mercado. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So, um, let's go with... Um, White Ifa priestess, whatever, and um, exposing the business, and I know black puppy. <laughs> yes, I know exposing <laughs> the business. So you up here make, you know what? I just <laughs> it open. It opens up with her kicking around a coconut. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I ain't got no problem and with ritual. I ain't got no problem with ritual. I ain't got no, no problem with her doing said ritual that on is... camera. Two things. Two things. Thank you. That sounds like. <laughs> Two problems. Not it's her. She's the her main problem. Doing? Yeah. And her doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or her doing and being and on camera. And her so baba great. getting on my nerves. <laughs> yeah. So he's in the bed just like. What are you doing? She's like, I'm kicking a coconut around for peace. And so it is, I'm not going to go into this, the ritual, but she's literally kicking a coconut around the house to purify the apartment because all they do is argue. And in true Matt Sharp fashion, the best way to move on is to ignore everything and act like nothing happened and just pretend like everything is okay. You know, it, ha it works on every show that he has. Yeah. <laughs> so with multiple couples. Yes. So it's his birthday, you know, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, I support your religion, bro, but I still think you're crazy. But you know, you're my wife. Like, I'm supposed to accept you for who you are, right? Mm-hmm. Which is interesting. So, um, the next few scenes is where I was. Remember how I would be like. Is she really white or is she like Latina? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why? Because she got a little and, ass. And yeah, like, again, she looks like Miss Trujillo, this teacher that I had in grade school, like spitting image. And she taught me how to make no, um, traditional white. guacamole. I um, see that's irritating. I, uh, <laughs> I, I have known a white girl or two who is shaped exactly like Danielle. Um, but it's not, but like you get, or has maybe her body frame. I don't like you. She's she white. Get, she, I know, I know she is, but she gives. White I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if it's if she just likes. goes on vacation often and she's absorbed like like paint on a white wall, or but I, you know, I, I just think she, she gives. just happens to be shapely. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But, Maybe she's Greek. <laughs> and, oh, that too. You know, like she, goes, she oh, like she oh, could no be meat? Greek. Okay, I'll give you lamb. <laughs> um, I what I will say, I was reminded from this point on that she was very white. Baby, so because mama, when she hit us with that. I always get what I want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like my note says, she's trying to get him a cake, and she's being white about it. That. So, <laughs> <laughs> that irritated the motherfuck out of me. But he also irritated me too because all she wanted to do was just get a cake that was in the thing and she would just decorate it herself. Yeah, but how many places do, do you go in and be like, oh, y'all won't do it? Well, let me do it. And they'd be like, okay, <laughs> nowhere. <Yeah. laughs> um, at the grocery store, they do. We, no, but nobody told you to come in here in the 11th hour, bitch. Like, Very true. You knew when his birthday was. Hmm. Maybe she had to wait for his OnlyFans payment to kick in. Or she, I don't know. She was evading that bankruptcy. She, I don't know. <laughs> Talking about once I got into the religion, everything in my life started going right. D didn't you file chapter 11? 
That's what and I'm not talking about the religion I wear. I'm talking that you. That is spirit rejecting you. <laughs> yeah. Right. Imagine a whole spirit just rejecting your whole like. It's like person. a bad tampon. <laughs> huh? I have more questions, but I'm going to save that for <laughs> another day. We're on YouTube. Yeah, can't ask that here. <laughs> but just know, I'm going to ask about bad tampons at some point in the next two weeks. Not bad, or tampons not agreeing with your body. You know, something, your body rejecting, pushing away. Again, more questions, but again, in two weeks, I will ask that. <laughs> The vagina monologues coming yeah. next season Patreon. Yeah, we should have a month dedicated to parts where we discuss. We have a doctor that comes in Come and on. lets us know how to use you it. Get, get grown. Let's get getting grown. Well, well, well y'all are responsible. I yeah. mean, in the sense of <laughs> make sure you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um. So she goes to this bakery like two hours before this party that she planned <laughs> on the beach with all his family and friends. Mm -hmm. And she tried to get him, you know, a cake for 25 people. Mind you, she probably planned this party five minutes ago because she... Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. because I feel like she planned this party just off the strength of the nigga saying, you care more about seeing your ex than you care about me. And she was like... Oh, 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 this party had nothing to do with his birthday. This had everything to do to lay out the plan because how she presented the shit la yesterday no. didn't work. So okay, now so she's going she to plan up, she called B. all the family and said, I know you're not doing that tomorrow. Right. <laughs> Listen, she she has she has a there there's an episode of Survivor. I, I think I forget what season it is, but there's this black girl named Michaela and Michaela could have won. The problem is, Michaela went on the beach and she drew like a, a diagram mm -hmm. and she was like, this is who this is who I'm taking out and why. And she had a week to week. <laughs> she was doing what in wrestling they called the booking. And that is exactly what Danielle was doing. She was like, OK, so this is going to work. So I'm going to plan this party mm -hmm. so that he can feel better about himself and see like, oh, I'm such a good wife. And he'll and allow she thinks me he dumb to go creep. To, uh to just go with and it. I thought he was too. Um, I mean, because I, but nothing about him. He's a man of few words. Yeah, but so he's not stupid. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think he was stupid, but I thought he was just kind of like gonna just. He got some fucked up values, it, but he's. He's not dumb. Yeah, that's just man. He's word. simple, but yes, very simple. So she's at this bakery and she's fussing with this guy about buying a cake. He was like, no, girl, we about to close. Uh, right. So she kicks and screams and Karens and she <laughs> gets him to get him a, a pipe bag, a, a pastry bag with strawberry gel so she can write, you know, Feliz cumpleaños, Johan, on it. Um, Which all that had to be for the camera because that wasn't even the cake that was at the party. Yeah, it was. That blue cake? Because remember, his mama had a surfer. Wait, that blue cake was the cake? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she sure did. <laughs> and that nigga had me cracking up talking about whip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now the party can turn up for real. So, he, um, they get dressed, you know, auntie and uncle's night out. He thinking they having a, um... A day on the beach and shows up and it's all his familia and friends and and you know the food looked amazing mm -hmm. mind you it was at like a restaurant i thought it was um it looked like a resort but it was i thought i don't know what i thought i don't but i'm not sure i didn't think was, that but i saw juice go on rice and i was like mm -hmm. yeah i saw a lot of gravy i saw things that were well seasoned i saw tostones tostones with fresh salt on them because mm. you know you have to hit salt as soon as they get out mm -hmm. the fryer um, so I was pleased until, you know, his family was like, you know, you know how you feel, you know, he's like, thank you and blah, blah. And then his daddy go, was his daddy or his mama? His daddy. Was, his daddy was like, you know, you better thank your wife for setting all this up. 
I think that bitch already. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he said. <laughs> mm, I thanked her. Mm hmm. And when I tell you, Mama got hot. in her fee fees. What? She she got up and she got her her bag and walked off. And her in her little she sweat said, spot, no shade. I already get it. Mm -hmm. I got a big ass. Yeah. Got up and was and stormed off to the beach. Mm hmm. And this is Johan's. This is what the fuck you get. This is the consequences I'm telling you. Because he said it's both of them though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and I hope he picked up at the fact that, no, you didn't throw this party for me. You threw he this did. party. I I hope so. He didn't say those words, but I hope he picked up. Because he was like, you know, you pissed me off since yesterday. You ruined my birthday yesterday. He said with you all ruined this. my birthday 17 times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like... I yesterday you came to me with this bullshit after you already made plans because I know you did. He said all the things we said mm -hmm. on the show, mm -hmm. and all she could do was like, "Can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk?" No, you can't because you pissed me off, yeah, and now like, you can go. No, because you ruined my birthday, girl. No, you ruined my birthday. <laughs> and she eventually storms off, and she's having this existential crisis because her nigga won't let her see her old nigga and now she's thinking about divorce because her nigga won't let her see her old nigga yeah the audacity and she's mad because he is mad that she ruined his birthday yes yeah it's, it's very rich over in the Dominican Republic you know? <laughs> so she leaves and then the family turns up, serves the cake, happy birthday. He's drinking big ass forty ounce presidentes, like El presidente. I was like, come on, where the brugal at? <laughs> I I have had experiences on brugal. Nigga, I have had terrible experiences on brugal. Yeah. <laughs> I just said experiences because I don't know if I remember them or not. I just know that I have I don't. I just know they phone. turned out poorly. And <laughs> that that bottle with that little red uh, netting around it, a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that was them. Yes. Mm. 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 Deny, deny, deny. Mm. <laughs> I had a laugh because last week, I forget what we recorded, and you told me to put in that clip of OJ. It was like, did you do it? <laughs> I... And when I saw it again, I could not stop cackling. And when I watched this, I was like, oh. Here we are again on my own. So, remember, we back in the spa, and, you know, Walter Mercado is asking the hard-hitting questions. Are you talking to other bitches, yes or no? Mm -hmm. And he's like, again, no. I don't know what you're talking about. No, girl, but you want to see my he, phone? he fucked up and said, oh, I figured I was being catfished. So that's why I I sent her that and I blocked her. Now, but I was dying laughing because she called his bluff. When he was like, you want to see my phone? She was like, yeah. He's like, okay. So he goes to get it. But the gotcha is everything is a handy. So she can't understand shit. Mm -hmm. It could be a DoorDash delivery <laughs> or like or sexting. Or a sext. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who knows? If Who it ain't knows? no pussy picture, you don't know. Nope. <laughs> All you got is, who are you sending these roses to? I was like, right. you don't know. It could be his mother. It could have been his auntie. <laughs> See? <laughs> could be Auntie Seema from Mumbai. And you I'm don't dying know. laughing. He be sending them big ass auntie glittering gifts and shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he stays on blingy. <laughs> Keeping blingy what? in service for the 9 9 text and the oh, oh. look like MySpace. Yes. I know he got a, um, a signature on his WhatsApp. You know he does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One. <laughs> Somebody rupee. Uh, One love. <laughs> <laughs> With the little squeak. <laughs> yeah. The Indian. Um, so, he, 
comes clean and he tells her what their friend, his friend astrologer says. Mm -hmm. And about how, hey, we should wait 50 days, you know, <laughs> because that's what the um, astrologer said. And her face got even more dead than it usually is. And it turned into like complete like stone. Child, but I died laughing at the montage. It was a montage of a little more time, a little more time for yeah. three years. For three years. It was 15 scenarios of this nigga saying a little more time. Yeah, a little more time. And I'm like, girl, I, you do it a lot for somebody you ain't even got a pinch of the dick, you know? She, I mean, it, she had the dick. She just didn't have the dick this time. I thought they never boned before. No, they fucked. They just didn't fuck this time. She, remember, she was like, I don't want to. Oh, yeah, because she, oh, oh, yeah, she's on her Joan Clayton. Yeah, exactly. Um, which is stupid because she could have kept fucking him and, and all this would have at least been for something. Girl, you know? at least she would have got some international dick, so. Yeah, like here, you appear just, just being angry and white for, for no reason. Her hater friends are coming to visit. Oh, her hater homies. Oh, no, I said, her home haters are coming to visit. <laughs> they, so... Her racist home haters. They keep having the conversation on a loop. The same conversation. Um, mm -hmm. Rishi and Jen, uh, Walter Mercado, because she keep asking him about it. And he's like, oh, it. I thought it was... I thought I, it was, I was like, haha, I got you, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I got you, ha ha ha, it's a joke, I kid, I kid. So I we kid. find out when her homegirls get there, she's been married before. And one Oh of, yeah, we did know that, because we saw the wedding picture yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, I forgot, so when Nimba just said, we went to Jamaica for her first wedding. Okay, so here's... <laughs> So her home haters get off the plane and they're like, it took three days to get there. Mm -hmm. The last, and I quote, the last time it took us to travel this far was when we went to her first wedding in Jamaica. Now I was like, now let me tell you one goddamn thing. <laughs> it don't take, it is not the same distance from Oklahoma to Jamaica as it is from Oklahoma to, to India. India. Which you is why one of can... them got thrown up on. Because that, that wasn't nothing but, but God. And this is also... <laughs> right, because they are aggressively American. Oh, so they're my just God! Like, oh, my God! Like, everything is so different. Like, my note says they definitely have their bachelorette brunch parties, like, at drag brunches. What? Every, like, every 40th know. birthday. Lordy, Lordy, look, she's 40. Everybody mm. has on airbrush t-shirts with matching shoelaces. Like, let, mm. these hoes. Are, are they like Disney adults? Yeah, they have those wine glasses with the cursive on it. Um, mm. Everybody decorates their own from Michael's. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. But, so, they get they are aggressively American. They get there, and they're like, oh my god, it's so hot. It's like glamping. I'm like, girl, first of all, you have on a sweater, and you're in India. So they're like, it's so hot, it's so hot. Then they get on the tuk-tuk, they go and... <clears throat> I know that's a tuk-tuk in Thailand, but you know what I mean. They go on the tuk-tuk, yeah. they go into her house, somebody throws Remind up... Remind me to tell you about this House Hunters episode of, of Thailand I saw. But I, I, again, not something we could share here. I have to find on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> we should watch some House Hunters clips on uh, Patreon. Oh, yeah, we should, we yeah, should. I'm down for that. Ooh, mm -hmm. and then International House Hunters in honor yes. of 90 Day Fiance the other yes. day. Because um, I have thoughts in a pity Oh, yards. so many. I remember yeah. when this bitch went to Greece. Anyway, so somebody throws up at the side of the bus. A little bit lands on hater homegirl number two's dress. And I was like, good. <laughs> and a part of me was like, oh, that's light. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've seen somebody throw, like, take a shit and then throw it right after on I, the five train. Yeah, the so four I, train, hello, I've seen nothing, a bitch pop a squat right in the corner. Yeah, yeah, like, it, it, that is I've light. That little bit of thought was and, light work. Yeah, it's not. Listen. <laughs> so, so they get to her apartment, and again, the aggressive Americanness keeps coming out. 
She like XD me off said, with what she said. So there's she's showing them the bidet, which is when you know when you got the hose in the kitchen, and they're Shop like, "Hello Tushy, Hello like, Tushy dot com slash JXD." Let me tell you something because I went up to my homegirl's house upstate. Guess who has a tushy in every bathroom now? Okay, comfortable the whole weekend I was, and then got to the Airbnb and they got five stars just for having a tushy. <laughs> Yes. Like, oh yes. <laughs> yes. Um, but so she's showing them the bidet, and they're like, "Oh, it's like glamping." No, it's not, bitch. You can't wash your butt in your toilet at home. I guarantee you, you ain't got no bidet. Booty all like, crummy. That pissed me off. That pissed me off so much. What do you well, mean it's like, like glamping, bitch? We're not outside. Yeah, like just because we're in a, a different country than you know Indiana doesn't mean that you know everything is like outlaw mud show. You know what I mean? It's just it's and Walter different. Mercado like, is a weak ass bitch because what you're not gonna do is come up in my house and 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 throw your little passive aggressive insults around because she's like, yeah, yeah, it's like I'm being I'm, no bitch. Put your stand up, stand up, <laughs> and tell them host, no, it's not like glamping. It's an apartment, right. and this is the hose to wash your butt out. Do you have a hose to wash your butt out? True. Because I will say, with Jenny and Samit, and when her daughter came and stuff, Jenny was very much like, you better respect the culture. So. So don't do and that. she's old. So then she's like, and then she deflects, yeah, well, you want to see my rooftop? So she takes them up to the rooftop, and. This is where I wrote, her friends are awful. So, I said, while they are making valid points over and under, they are still hating. Mm -hmm. You can do both. Because they, right, they rehashed this argument about, you know, <clears throat> you know, girl, why are you here when he's clearly talking to other girls? He hit me up, Randy with the eye. Which she is the worst one out, oh. of, out of both of them. There is a white woman with a sp specific tone of blonde. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a specific length of hair um, yeah. that usually wears a lot of black. They're a special kind of bitch. I'm not going to hold mm -hmm. you. Mm hmm. Because, like, her other friend, like, like middle aged Gretchen Wiener, like, she was okay. <laughs> but, like,. The other one, Miss Trunchbull, I was like, oh, you can get it. Because, again, I can I can I be Frank Mitchell for a little bit? Um, Republican? <laughs> well, I just meant Frank. Uh, <laughs> I just... When you catfish somebody, typically you want to pick, like, a looker. You know, like somebody that would actually catch their eye and, you know, I think because of the fact that I think Randy has a horrible and ugly spirit that makes her ugly to me on the outside. Randy looked like, remember that girl, Simone from Sister Sister? I've been watching okay. it with my child. She was the, the <laughs> resident, she was the RA for the girls when they went to college. It was She was the only mm -hmm. white girl when they had to, They I, I think Disney was, or whoever was like, you got to put a white girl on this show. Um, mm -hmm. And so she was the only white girl, but she was like a, a big bitch. And then she ended up, you know, being their friend or something like that. She gave me, the, she looks like her. She gives me that energy. I can dig it. Mm-hmm. So they all go to meet up with Rishi, which again, bad idea because her friends are like, we're going to confront him about it. And, you know, the time is meeting and, and Rishi's like, I don't know about meeting her friends because of this whole awkward situation with the catfishing or whatever. And he was right. It was hella awkward. It was more awkward than even I anticipated. See, I thought it was less awkward than I anticipated. Only because they were charmed by him as soon as they got there. They did not keep the same energy that they had no. beforehand. Where it was like, well, he is blah, Which blah, Which made blah. it awkward for me. They were like, oh. I think they, first of all, saw him in person. Was like, oh. And then with that limp, with that oodles and noodles ass hair. That top ramen ass 
it be stressing me out. Stop it's using so that thin. damn coconut it's, oil. It's so thin <laughs> and so just greasy. It's so greasy. Thin. All that goddamn coconut oil is not good for the hair. Anyway, um, so I think they were like charmed by him. And he brings it up. He's like, okay, so about this catfishing shit. And he keeps the same story, but he's rehearsed it a few times beforehand now. So he's like a lot more comfortable in it. Um, mm -hmm. And then he really pulls the big, the big joker. And it's like, look through my phone here in front of your friends. Like, look, I be blocking bitches left and right when I feel like they're getting too close. And his friends were like eating it right the fuck up. Oh, well, I guess, I guess if he blocks like more than one person, yeah like i he thought he had them there until <laughs> until they bring up the arranged marriage conversation mm. and this is something that he cannot escape from and you know he he talks about and he skirts around this like when did your parents start you know looking for you know a wife or whatever and and about like why haven't you told them and her friends are kind of like no that's bullshit and they say it to his face they do because they're yeah, like yes. you're an, you're an adult <laughs> you know it seems like you're stringing our girl along and then jen was like i'm gonna leave yeah because she asked him she was like so did you or did you not know and the friends are like did you or did you not know they was looking for a wife for you and he's like, no, I didn't know. But then, like, before you came, they were looking for three or four. But every Which time I said no, but they presented them all at one time. So really, it was just one time I said no to all of them. And she's like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -mm, mm -mm, <laughs> like, mm -mm, mm -mm. two plus two right now is making seven. And it's not making sense to me. And, mm -hmm. yeah, she pissed. She needed to go take a beat. Yeah, so, and then after she gets up, you know, they're like, I thought the chicken was lovely. Ah! <laughs> they're like, the spice was perfect. Okay, yeah. the, yeah. the fucking samosas were flaky. <laughs> and like, Delicious. Everything Tender. was mm. chef's kiss. Yeah, and that was them. Uh, we will see what happens next. Like I said, I don't see any of these couples surviving except Gabe and Isabel, and that's only... If Isabel, you know, gets her shit together. I think she'll get a grip. I think she yeah, got all sad so. in her in her fifis. But I do think that but they are the only ones because the preview for next week. <laughs> because Nicole said what she say? I'm going back to the door I'm going back to the <laughs> With, the, with this ruffled, ruffled plaid situation. <laughs> She's like, Uber Eats is calling, and I am answering. <laughs> okay. I'm and girl, good, because you should have never come. And I hope you mm -hmm. actually follow through with your word this time. But we'll see. I hope so. But until next time, bye, y'all. If for whatever god-awful reason you want more Jaden XD, make sure you subscribe to us on Patreon.